This was an iconic mall. This is now one of the front entrances. Plywood. If you haven't been to Greens Point Mall lately, well, you're not alone. It's a smell. There's no AC. What was once the retail mecca of Houston's north side is now considerably less. What is that? Is that coming from up there? There's still a handful of tenants left in the mall, and even they're being forced out. Food court's not functioning anymore. <laughs> this is crazy. Closing, so the whole mall is closing. Who oh, is it? Uh. The whole thing? The regular customers, nobody comes here. Only robbers are coming here. Tariq Darvesh is not exaggerating by much. His last jewelry store walk-in, of which there aren't many, robbed him. And we can tell you it wasn't a one-off. No, it's clear now that at 48 years old, dilapidated Greens Point Mall is all done. But what you may have missed is right next door. As you enter off the Beltway, a sparkling new housing development. 325 brand new affordable apartments built partially with Houston's Harvey funds. The bottom floor will later this year house retail shops. I think they're really trying to get it back to the way it used to be. This used to be where to go back in the day when we were kids. It was when the mall was When cool. the mall was great. And just adjacent to that housing complex, some retail's already popped up. Greens Point appears to be doing its level best to shed the insulting Guns Point nickname. And crime is trending down. In 2015, HPD's reported stats show 223 incidents. In 2019, it was down to 69. In 2023, 47. And through April of this year, just nine. They fixed this area up really nice. They did though, right? Yeah. Very safe now. It feels very safe. In my estimation, the Greens Point area is legitimately improving. But the elephant in the room is the mall. This gargantuan space, what will become of it? The facility manager told us they're hoping for a new buyer. This would be a heck of an expensive teardown. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News.